What's up, y'all? It's Jeff Lacey Jr. from Ball Sports on HabariTV.net. And congratulations to the Golden State Warriors, the 2015 NBA champions. Now, I'm watching this game, and all I can keep thinking about is that Golden State has forever changed the way basketball will be played in the NBA. I mean, for years, even, I mean, we've heard NBA legends like Charles Barkley say that jump shooting teams can never win a championship because there can be days that you don't, that your jump shots are not falling, and then you live and, and you live and die by the three, and most teams have died. Like, we've had good three point shooting teams, but most teams, a lot of teams have died by shooting a bunch of threes. Well, Golden State has forever changed that theory. I mean, they were the best three point shoot, they took the most, they were the best three point shooting team in the entire league, and they won the NBA championship. Their best player, and a lot of, oh, and another theory, a lot of experts always thought that. You know, the big man is who wins the championships. And statistically, technically, they're right. I mean, if you go through the lit hit list of the history of great NBA teams and teams that won a lot of championships, unless you had a Michael Jordan or a LeBron James or a Kobe Bryant, I mean, most of those teams, Tim Duncan, were led by Tim Duncans, by Shaqs, by David Robinsons, by Hakeem Olajuwon's. I mean, these teams that won championships, I mean... Dirk Nowinski's big men, like power forward centers, have won championships. But Golden State didn't have a big man. In fact, in their championship, they started five guys six nine or shorter. I mean, their starting lineup for their game game winning game clinching title was Draymond Green six eight, Andre Iguodala six six, Clay Thompson around six six, Steph Curry who's six four, and I mean, I can't even think of the fifth person. I mean, because but they were all nobody was a center. They didn't have a center. They played they played small ball, and that's what won them a championship. And they forever changed the way the NBA is played. I mean, now we know that you don't need a dominant big man per se to win a championship. You don't have to go big. You can win a championship by shooting a lot of three pointers. You just have to have now. Don't get me wrong. Every team is not going to have an elite Steph Curry or a dead eye shooter like Klay Thompson. But the way the NBA is shifting, the dynamic of the of the league is shifting. You have to be able to shoot a three to win the championship. Out of the four teams that made the uh, with the conference finals, those were the four best three point shoot, shooting teams in the entire league. I mean, so the dynamic has shifted, and that is interesting with the NBA draft coming up because right at the top of the draft. We have two big men. We have Carl Towns and Jaleel Okafor. And these are supposed to be franchise-changing big men. But now it has it, it leaves me thinking, should these guys go over a kid like D'Angelo Russell, who is the best guard in the league and is a pure shooter, pure money shooter, whereas we now we know you don't need a big man to win the championship. I mean, Golden State just proved this. You don't even need a center, honestly, to win the championship. I don't know, let me know what you think. These are some interesting things I've come to, I've come to like realize and I've been thinking about for a little bit. But just after watching them win a the championship just literally an hour ago. But once again, thanks for watching. My name is Jeff Lacey Jr. from Ball Sports and HabariTV.net. Thanks for watching. Continue to subscribe to my videos and leave comments. Let me know what you think. Thanks for listening. Peace.